Good morning, Ray for Olympians. It's Thursday, November 8th. We will be on all class period schedule. Happy ha birthday to Paul Gayton. Today for lunch, we'll be having big chicken with cheesy potato, ham and cheese wrap with chips, and a French bed pizza. Now it's welcome, Brie. Hey guys, it's Brie, and I'm going to be giving some tips and a small quiz about the amendments. The First Amendment allows people to have a freedom of speech, religion, press, assembly, and petition. A shorter way to remember this amendment is just to think that the First Amendment means first we get a freedom of speech, religion, press, assembly, and petition. We have, we have a freedom to speech, blank, press, and blank, and petition. The answer to the blanks are religion and assembly. That's all for today. Bye. Thanks, Bree. The Art Before Breakfast Sketchbook Club will meet in Nova Thursday, November 15th in room 16. Please bring your own lunch this time. Miss Bosom will not be serving food. We will be meeting to share our Inktober drawings and to get at a new challenge. Plan to attend even if you did a few drawings or didn't have time to do any. Everyone who attends and has at least one drawing will be entered into a raffle for a $5 Starbucks gift card. Finish your inking drawings and bring them to room 16 on November 15th. If your sad Inktober is over, you might want to consider a new challenge, Hue Vember. The word hue means color. For this challenge, create a picture and then color it using the hue of the day. You can use other challenge colors in it too, but try using the hue of the day as the main color in your drawing. If you'd like a hue of ember color chart, see Ms. Wilson in room 15. Eighth graders, keep studying for the Constitution test. Here's our question of the day. What is the Fourth Amendment? Um, I think authorities can't do an unreasonable search. Be sure to study your cards. Now please stand and be respectful as your teacher leads you in the flag salute. I'm Ethan. And I'm Tanner. And you've just been gobbled. gobbled.